Let's talk about large group circle time in preschool. I teach at a half day preschool. They come four days a week. So I have four large group lessons each week. So each of my lessons are based on one of my standards. My standards are broke down by month. So I'm going to choose one of the standards that I'm working on. I'm going to find a book that goes along with it. And I try to make every activity as interactive as possible with having 20 to 22 students in a class, everybody active and engaged. But this also gives them a time that I tell them, this is your specific learning time. Your job is to control your body. Your job is to listen. Um, and everybody has to be here at the carpet with us. So for this week, we're learning about measuring. Let me share with you what we're doing for one of our large group lessons. We're going to read Inch by Inch by Leo Leone. Is that right? I don't have that with me, so I can't share with you, but it's um, talking about measuring. So we're going to read that. I try to pair a book that goes along with our lesson. So I read a book first, and then we're going to go into our lesson. So today we're doing, doing measuring, but I'm also going to add in patterning because that's one of our standards in October too. I might as well hit two at the same time. So we're going to be measuring these spiders on the smart board. So this is also a printable resource. I'll be putting in a bin later that students can measure these lines with Unifix cubes. But as a large group, everybody's going to get a turn coming up and we're going to measure how long these spider webs are. So let me share with you what that looks like. I just found out uh, recently that my smart board is magnetic and I never knew that before. So this lesson was born, here we go. We're going to read the book. We're going to talk about what measuring is and to all the different kinds of measure measurements. So this is just a one to two minute conversation. And then we're going to measure how long these spider webs are. I'm going to hand out specific color squares of magnetiles. And I'm going to make sure I call up every other one so that our measuring turns into a pattern as well. We're going to start at the bottom of the spider and we're going to measure how many squares how many squares long is this spider web I don't have them laminated yet, but I have numbers that go with this resource that I'm going to laminate and put a piece of magnet tape on the back, and that way I can match the numbers under each of these. So we're going to do these patterns together. Uh, yellow, purple, yellow, purple, yellow, purple. And then we're going to count how many, and then see which one has the most and which one has the least. 